What's going on, guys? It's Matter Sun, man, and I'm just coming at you with a new episode, a new series, I guess, of Doc Van Slyke, who's a closing pitcher, and you'll see who he gets drafted by uh, later on in the creation part of this video. But the whole reason the creation's in there is because I actually uh, need to talk to you guys about something and kind of get something off my chest. Um, so it's it's uh, it has to deal with a whole bunch of different things, um, kind of like anxiety and depression and all that stuff. And first off, I uh, just kind of have to tell you guys a little bit more about why I didn't make videos a lot over the summer. And that's because, um, you know, over the summer, I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression. And there's only really one cure to fix that, and that is to just find somebody to talk to. Um, you know, for me, it was somebody that uh you know because of this anxiety and depression um i got really close to and it, it was somebody that i never thought would have been uh my best friend now uh but she is and i'm really thankful that i had the opportunity to talk to her um, about all this stuff and i'm really thankful that we became close and um, best friends but yeah, so uh, if you guys are dealing with anything like this or dealing with anxiety and depression, you know, go ahead and private message me. You know, it's always good to have somebody to talk to, and I'll go in-depth about the anxiety and depression and stuff uh, later on in a different commentary about my personal experience with it. But um, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that if you ever have any problems, uh, you know, you can always PM me on YouTube, um, and we can work something out to where I can have more of an instant communication with you. And then the second thing is, is um, it's just, ooh, this kind of happened today, and it kind of angered me a little bit, uh, but it was, I'm kind of feeling disrespected by other people, and I know I shouldn't really care about what other people think, but it's kind of uh, dealing, uh, you know, it's kind of something where I have, uh, I've been told one thing by uh, one person and I choose to believe that and then it's kind of like hearing something from a different person um, about the same situation a little bit with the same person it's kind of it, it kind of makes you feel disrespected in a way and I don't really like that ben feeling Benzigo. and it's not a good one so um, that's why if you ever <laughs> hear a hint of anger or something in my voice um, it's it's because of that you know, it's it's been very difficult uh, the past couple of days, and especially now. Um, you know, but and because especially since uh, the one person I want to talk to, my best friend, I can't really talk to right now uh, because of some circumstances that I can't really go into. But hopefully, by a miracle, um, she is subscribed to me. So hopefully, by a miracle, uh, she sees this video, and maybe. She PMs me on YouTube, I don't know, uh, but, <laughs> so yeah, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about that and how uh, my experience is with that stuff, so just know that if you guys ever need anything, go ahead and PM me on YouTube, I'm not afraid to talk uh, and kind of open up with you about my experience because, you know, the best thing to do is have somebody to talk to. And now to switch it to a more lighthearted topic, um, I'm doing this commentary with a different mic. So go ahead and tell me if you like the quality uh, better on this or the other commentaries. Go ahead and tell me that down below in the comments. Uh, but, you know, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get this video started. You're going to see uh, uh, Dick or Doc, my bad. It was It's Rick, but they call him Doc. Um, so he has a tan and or a teal and pink glove, uh, you know, he's unorthodox in that way, I guess. He has teal shoes, uh, but he's a closing pitcher, uh, as you could see earlier in the video. Uh, I think he went with a, I think he has a cutter, a fork ball, and then um, a sinker. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely not conventional pitches, I would say, but, um, you know, a lot of movement on those pitches, so I'm hoping to see some good things from this from this guy. Uh, yeah, he, he is a little unorthodox in the colors. He has a green bat. I just wanted to do something a little goofy with him. So, um, Yeah, so <laughs> right here you're just seeing the creation part. And I guess, man, this is a long creation. I guess I could have cut it down a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, it just, you know, gives me time to have a little personal talk with you guys. So um, I just 
you know, how's school going with you guys? <laughs> uh, you know, it's been pretty good for me, I guess, getting easier. Um, my best friend should be back. She's supposed to be back next week uh, on a Monday. She hasn't really been in school. Can't really get in touch with her. So don't, don't. So it's kind of not helping my situation a little bit. But in any way, shape, or form, it's not helping. Uh, but, yeah, you, you see here he's getting some teal shoes. I was thinking about going all teal, but then I started to throw some team colors in there because I just thought it was fitting. But, yeah, so you can see he's definitely not a conventional kind of guy. He's a left-handed closer. You don't really see a lot of those. Um, notable, Most notable left-handed closers I can think of at the time is a, right now is Aroldis Chapman and <clears throat> Billy Wagner, I think he retired, uh, but Billy ba Billy Wagner was a great, great closer uh, from the left-handed side, and so um, kind of wanted to go with a left-handed closer because you don't really see a lot of those. And right here, you can see he goes with the Jonathan Alabayedo. I don't really know how to say that, but I thought it was kind of cool. And I don't really, who do we pick for the stance? Hmm. Freddie Galvis, yeah, because it was just kind of simple. But, yeah, as you can see, started putting these training points in and uh, expect to see a trade-off um, every, every other video will either be a, a closing or either be this guy or Joe Bomber, who, if you have not seen, and right here, uh, Doc Van Slyke gets drafted by the Chicago Cubs, so I guess we have to carry this team right here. This is first. So, as you can see, he gets a first pitch, 93-mile-an-hour cutter on the corner. He has two strikes on him. Nice little fork ball uh, down and out. So, got him right there. And right there with an 83-mile-an-hour fork ball strikes out another hitter. Uh, Van Slyke is just on a tear right now. And Van Slyke gets a ground out on the sinker to end the game for his first professional save. So, you can see he comes in. Two two runners on base, no outs. Gets a pop fly to the center fielder. Center fielder plays it. Come Throws. On, can they get him at third? Down. No, they cannot. Close play. Close play, but they cannot. Unfortunately, they cannot get him. So, yeah. Uh, really hoping to maybe not post this or as long of videos. And Joe Bomber is definitely going to be my priority on this channel, but there will be times where this guy is in there. And you can see he gets a 93-mile-an-hour swing and a miss on that cutter. So right here, as you can see, chain, I believe we changed. Yeah, this is first save situation at home. We changed the pitching stance a little bit. I didn't really like it. Can't remember what it is, to be honest with you guys. So, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Probably should have remembered what it was. But, uh, yeah. So, video is coming to an end, and you guys can obviously see what's happening, so I don't really have to tell you right now. But video is coming to an end uh, pretty soon here. So, if you guys liked it, please uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And if you could share the video, that would be, you know, greatly appreciated. Just tell your friends at school or something if you enjoy my content. But thanks a lot, guys, and, uh, you know, catch you on the flip side. You know, just keep on doing you. Be beautiful, I guess. So, uh, thanks.